What is up members of my collector core? It is I, Super Mario Zilla, or you can call me Vinny, and today we will be taking a look at the Super 7 Toho Ultimates Space Godzilla Poster Color Version. For Godzilla Day of this year in 2024, Super 7 revealed the poster color version of Space Godzilla, but ultimately, no pun intended, this is meant to represent how the old Treadmaster Space Godzilla toys looked in terms of color. The colors matched nearly one to one, it's clear as day. But I guess to get the blessing from Toho, they had to market it as a poster color version. Okay, fair enough. Either way, fans were excited to see this pop up. It was too cool not to have. And as soon as it went up, it was in stock. Yeah, no pre-order wait time. You can order this right now on Super 7's site. I'll have a link in the description down below. MSRP is $85, so the same as regular colored Space Godzilla. This is a repaint of the Wave 4 Space Godzilla, so same sculpt and articulation, but not the same amount of accessories. This figure does not include the crystals, which is kind of sad. I think that would have made this a better deal. Now, will this figure be worth picking up? Picking up for the novelty alone? Or is this a dud you should probably pass on? Sit back, relax, and let's see if this is worthy of a spot on your Godzilla shelf and see if Super 7 celebrated Godzilla's 70th anniversary with a banger. Not gonna lie, the sculpt and paint won my heart, especially the paint job. There are some reports of some paint scuffing, so do be aware and handle this figure with caution. Whether that's a problem with the thickness of the paint or it was rushed or whatever the case may be, just be aware of it. But QC issues aside, the colors are gorgeous. I'm a massive sucker for the look of this figure and the sculpt looks great too. It is a softer sculpt than other Space Godzilla figures, but the details are still crisp enough to be made out with no problem. The coloration and the shading do wonders here for the sculpt. The main body is to die for. I love the colors on here and it looks so good and complements the sculpt. The sculpt on the body also to die for. It is wonderful. The shoulder crystals feature shading at the base transitioning from a bright white to a deep blue. The deep blue base color is awesome too. I love looking at it with the colors on the body. It is amazing. The dorsal plates have a crystal like sculpt and painted in a bright white color which looks gorgeous. I love it. The claws and the toes on the feet do feature shading as well. One thing that does worry me is the shoulders being made of a more soft plastic. I'm worried about it tearing over time. Hopefully I'm wrong and I'm just worrying too much. The tail is long and features the details to expect on a Space Godzilla figure. A segmented sculpt ending with a dangerous looking tip on the tail. Overall, Space Godzilla looks fantastic for a Super 7 figure, definitely one of the best looking figures in the Toho Ultimates lineup so far. Some QC problems with the paint chipping, but thankfully not on all copies. Space Godzilla looks really cool. So Space Godzilla's articulation is pretty standard for their Super 7 line of Godzilla figures. Um, it's not going to be decent like Godzilla minus one, but still what he's got is okay. Um, just don't expect monster arts articulation. So let's go over what he's got. Head right here is on a double ball peg. So he can look. His neck is also on a, on a ball peg, but it barely moves. It can move, just not a lot. So in total, he could look this high up. And he could look this far down, which is, which is okay. And he could look side to side with no problem. And of course, we, we do have lean. The waist can't swivel, although it's not going to be able to do a full 360 because uh, this back crystal clashes with these two crystals. So, yeah. Uh, dorsal plates, whatever. They're, they're crystal shaped. So, do be aware of that. Arms right here are on, a sh sh are on swivel hi hinges, so... He can push his arms this far back, this far forward. Uh, these two shoulder crystals are soft plastic. Uh, it's possible to get more range, just not without breaking them, so don't even try it. But either way, he can move this far forward with his arms. And in terms of moving them out, 
uh, this one further than this one, or, although it looks just about the same. Yeah, it's just about the same. Biceps can swivel. Single hinged elbow can move a little bit less than 90 degrees. Swivel hinge wrists. Ball jointed legs can kick this far forward, this far back, and can do the splits a, a little bit, and can swivel on the thigh. Knees are on the, on, on a single hinge. They do not have a lot of bend, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's about as far as they can go. Uh, this knee right here on my on my figure was really really stuck. I had to heat it up for five minutes just in order to free the uh, joint. And yeah, it moves. <clears throat> it, it just requires a, a bit of force. So, if yours is stuck, use heat. Ankles are on sw a swivel hinge. They they can kick this far back, kick forward about this far forward, and the ankle rocker is decent. Oh, I also forgot to mention knees are on a swivel as well. The tail. This is on one of the older Super 7 molds, so unfortunately tail articulation is not going to be a strong point. It barely curves. Just barely curves. It can move, just not as much as, as I would like it to. Minus one Godzilla had decent tail articulation for a Super 7 figure, but this... Not so much. Yeah, <laughs> you're not getting a lot. So articulation for Super 7, it's decent. It's not great, but it's decent. Uh, you'll be able to get them in some poses, realistic poses anyway, for Space Godzilla. So yeah, um, he's not the most posable figure out there, but I'm sure you could still have a, a bit of fun with him. It's just that articulation is not the best. Now, for accessories, uh, he comes with, obviously, his open mouth head, which, in my opinion, does not count as an accessory. So, there's that, just in case anybody's going to complain I did not point it out. He has these two stylized post hands. And he has these two more calm, relaxed hands. And his default hands are the fists, right here. Now the hands do switch out uh, easy, thank god. I complained on, I, th I think I complained on the New York Comic Con Godzilla figure that um, the hands were a pain to switch out. But on this figure, it's no pro problem. Swapping out the heads is also not too bad, although if it's giving you a hard time, use heat. So yeah, accessories. I wish he came with crystals like his original Super 7 Space Godzilla counterpart. That would have been cool. But it's the standard for what we got, so... I'm not mad, but I am a little bit let down that he did not come with crystals. Here's a size comparison with some other figures you may or may not own. Space Godzilla is my third Super 7 Toho Ultimates figure, and so I don't have a lot to compare him to since he's in the 8-inch Kaiju scale. He's big, and that tail not being able to bend much it may cause problems to display him, so make sure you have some space clear for him. This is such a fun release, probably one of my favorite Super 7 figures. Heck, probably one of my favorite Godzilla figures as a whole. The novelty alone adds points to want to own this for the collection. He has issues, as I've mentioned before, but honestly, for Super 7 standards, this is a good figure. You know what? No. This is a good figure in general. For $85, you can't go wrong. I love him, and I think you might love him too. Order with some caution since paint chipping out of the box is an issue, and the stuck knee joint is not nice to deal with, but thankfully it's easy to fix. I hate that there's no hinged jaw still, but at least a figure in quality makes up for that. I love this figure so much, 
Critically, I'd say this figure is an 8 out of 10. Some issues and no crystal accessories, but overall this is a must have for the collection. And if you love how the colors look, you may want to pick this up before it's too late. Get this now before he rockets up in price. You don't want to pay aftermarket. And like I said before, if you want him, the link is in the description. I said it before, I'll say it again, this figure rocks.